comments on that situation in our nine minutes. ...water this evening. Earlier, they tried to break through a police roadblock in Street as they headed for the pop festival at Pilton. David Passmore reports. The convoy arrived in Street from Dorset to collect their social security checks en route to Pilton. They were told they'd not be allowed onto or near the festival site, but tried to get there by crossing the central reservation. They were later turned back. There have been a few incidents where uh, misbehaviour has been present, but we have dealt effectively with that at the time, and uh, four persons have been arrested. Most certainly, we are taking it one step at a time. Well, I think it's stupid. You know, it's costing taxpayers, and uh, if Michael Evis is footing the bill, it's costing him a hell of a lot of money. Stop us going to his festival. And what's the point? They knew that large numbers of people in buses and trucks were going to turn up, right? And they've wasted loads and loads of money on a massive police operation to, to drive us around the country hounding us, arresting people willy-nilly and giving people loads of stress, when all they could have done is given us a couple of fields and then it would have been no problem to anybody. It's ridiculous, man. Tonight, the travellers are camped on this lay-by at Burrow Bridge, but they're not happy and say they want to return to Pilt. They don't have tickets and police say they'll be turned away tomorrow if they try to get near. Thousands of people are already there for the...